Hey, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Tommy Bikes TV Live. So today we are going to discuss these things that are happening and why they're happening and how we need to start making a change so it can stop happening. What am I talking about? Of course, I'm talking about a store closure that's happening, but it's much deeper than that. Um, I've put some thought into it. I've taken some notes so that I don't forget what I really want to address on here about it. But we're seeing more and more stores shut down every single day. We're going to get into the actual store that's closing, and then we're going to get into the two, really three things that need to take place for it these, these type of things to stop happening, period. Because we, we need to be fed up. We need to be enough is enough. There needs to be a change, okay, that is going to affect us in a positive light instead of what we're seeing now in the negative. So let's get into the video before we do. Liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel, all of those things do help support the channel to get out to more people. So more people will know what they need to do, what is happening out here, and how we need to just keep preparing y'all because things are not looking good at all. So the store that is shutting down now is Family Dollar Store closing in Wellsville and everything must go. So everything must go. If you have the funds and you're in this area or your area that you're in when stores are closing, try to take advantage of those store closures. So it says after um, gaining a Dollar Tree in January, Boulevard Road in Wellsville is now slated to lose a family dollar. So you gain one to lose one and you're still right where you started. The family dollar store at 460 Bolivar Road in the Wellsville Shopping Center will close July 20th. The store closing signs are now draped across the store front windows and an inventory liquidation sale is underway. All items are currently 50% off. The sales jumped to 75% off on July 11th. So even deeper savings, but a community losing a store. And then 90% off July 18th before the store's final day on July 20th. So this store will permanently be shut down July 20th according to the signage that they have throughout the store. Family Dollar said the Wellsville store is the only closer, closing store in that region. Signage at the Wellsville store urges Family Dollar fans to shop at nearby locations in Cornell and Cuba and Friendship. So this is the store. There are the signs posted here. The Wellsville store is part of a wave of family dollar closures. In March, the company announced it would close nearly 1,000 underperforming stores following a review in the fourth quarter of 2023. As a result of this review, we plan on closing approximately 600 family dollar stores in the first half of the fiscal year, 2024. Additionally, approximately 370 family dollar and 30 <clears throat> Dollar Tree stores, excuse me, will close over the next several years at the end of each store's current lease term. So they are closing thousands of stores right now. They're not alone in what they are doing. And there are some reasons that these, th these things are happening, not just to Dollar um, tree or family dollar, Dollar General, Walmart is it's a reason for this happening, and we're going to get into that reason. So, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are owned by the same company, though. In June, the retailer said it was considering a sale or a spinoff of a Family Dollar store. The Wellsville Shopping Center is anchored by a tractor supply, an auto zone, and a save a lot. The plaza has a few current vacancies, including the former family video store that closed in uh, late 2018. 
So that's what's happening with the family dollar. Let's get into these reasonings and the two things, maybe three, that need to take place. So I have that in my notes here. So for one, crime is one of those reasons. High crime has closed a lot of stores. That has been a part of the statements from a lot of stores that I've done um, articles on and also our current leader is a reason for a lot of these stores shutting down. The third thing is the economy and the, I'm not even going to say potential retail apocalypse. The retail apocalypse is what it is. So, and that's not just retailers, you know, the stores that I mentioned, that also includes banks. So, we need to look at the bigger picture. Everything is up for play. And if we get distracted or tired of hearing about these store closures, um, because I see it in the views, you know, oh, another store closure, you know, no need to look at that. But we need to look at the bigger picture, you guys. Um, we have already lost if, when we get distracted or say we don't need to pay attention to certain things because all these things intertwine and go together. So policies have been created to put people out of business and policies are created that are helping the crime and the criminals. Okay, these policies are taking place to the point where crime is at a point where we have never seen it before. And there are policies that are put in place by our leader that facilitate a lot of the stuff taking place. Okay, I just say it like that because I have to mince my word. So increasing um, the amount of people that are coming into the country just open borders, those things are affecting the crime. Not, not to say we didn't have crime before, we did, but crime has gone up since all of the influx of people have been coming in. Um, they're not vetting, so we don't know who's coming in in most cases, but we now know about a lot of those people that have already come in. So what do you do about that? Because we already had gangs here, but the gangs that have come in, they're on a whole nother level, okay? And there are policies in place that keep those people from even being arrested when they've committed crimes. And even when they are arrested, they're released back into society and pretty much never to be seen again. They're giving given a date to show up to court later and they never see those people again. So we don't know who's here. These things are taking place. It's, it's putting a strain on a lot of stores because they've gotten to the point in some states, they've been told not to call the police if it's not over a certain dollar amount. And so at the end of the day, that store is losing. And when that store is losing, that store now raises their prices, which means we pay more, period. Um, company is losing. They're having to pay employees. They're having these taxes on them as well. And at the end of the day, they are going to cut their losses because if they're not receiving the incentives that maybe they were promised they would get for a certain extended amount of time or whether or not their lease is just too much. I've done stories where companies with big names have been having issues paying their lease, whether it's the owner of the property raising the lease or just they don't want to continue to pay that rate because they're not taking in the money that they used to take in because the economy is just that bad. People are not spending the way they used to. A lot of outdoor um, 
things were taking place during the pandemic. Everybody wanted to, you know, fix their home up, put a pool in, you know, do all of this stuff. And now the decline is there. One, because people just don't want to put money into that, that they need to pay their bills or put food on the table. But all of these things are intertwined. So we cannot get complacent with, oh, just another store closing, whatever. We cannot get like that. This is a sign that we need to be preparing ourselves. That's why the question is, are we ready for what is coming? Because what is coming is a lack of access to a lot of things um, because places are shutting down. So until we pay attention and say enough is enough, what is happening will just continue to get worse. Retailers are in trouble. Banks are in trouble. Um, they cannot afford to stay open. Um, so it's, it's essentially the Band-Aid being either slowly pulled off, but now it's to the point it's just being ripped off and the bleeding is out of control. And a lot of people are downsizing right now, whether it's their homes, their cars, et cetera, they're downsizing so that they can afford things. And companies are also downsizing and having to think about how they can um, still make a profit and, and retain their employees. So Walmart is the leading retailer, and if they are closing stores continuously, this year they're already at 12 stores. Um, they originally started closing like a lot of stores in 2020 and 2020 on to now, but they were closing hundreds of stores, and we're in June, no, we're in July now, and they're at their 12th store. Now, mind you, that's not as many as they closed last year so far, but it matters what is happening right now. And Walmart being the, the leading retailer, if they are having troubles more and more, closing more and more locations, imagine the smaller retailers like Family Dollar and the 99 cent store, which recently shut down all of their stores. And now the Dollar Tree is stepping in to take on some of those stores, but not all of them. Um, and we have to start asking the tough question because we're ticking closer and closer to voting for our next president. And we need to say, you know, if you're fed up and enough is enough for you, what are you going to do to change it? Um, let's see. We need to ask ourselves, do we, want another four more years of what we're going through. How much worse can it possibly get? Well, it could get heck of worse. <laughs> if you look at what exactly is happening, um, you got both sides bickering about crazy things and you, you're asking yourself, well, I don't know who I, who am I going to vote for? I have no idea who I am going to vote for. Ask yourself, what is your household going through at this moment? And can you see your household surviving, continuing to go through it for four more years with the same policies that's in place or with the possibility that new policies can come in and hopefully help your family? You know, we can only hope that people will do right by what they're saying they're going to do. So. I'm going to leave you with that. Y'all can please answer me down in the comments um, what you think we can do to make our situation better in the United States because everybody is struggling in some kind of way. It may not be financially, but people are paying more and more attention. But we have to really dig deep and know that we cannot get complacent. We have to stay prepping and having our homestead, whether your apartment can be a homestead, okay? We need to be making sure that we have the ability to sustain when things do get worse, because that's 
the the way it's going right now how i'm seeing it so that's just my opinion but just wanted to bring you a new story about a store closing but actually looking at it from a different angle than i usually look at it and just giving you something to think about um ways that you can make sure your family is okay because only thing we can count on is God and ourselves to make sure it's okay. Because right now, everybody's going to give you a promise of what they want to do. Um, but you're going to have to really discern <laughs> in those things that are being said right now. You know, so y'all take care. I'll see you in the next video. I thank you so very much for um, being here today. If this video was helpful, useful, made you think or whatever, please hit that like button. It does support the channel and subscribe to the channel. If you have not become a family member already, we would love to have you join us. It is free. The likes are free. Turn your notifications on because I usually post more than one video a day. And I will see y'all in the next video. And as always, remember that I do love you, but God truly loves you. He created only when you be the very best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love, peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bikes TV and Life. I'll call you.